What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and today you're going to see the unboxing of my brand new 6 quart Kasori 9-in-1 pressure cooker. Shout out to all my spec nerds. Go ahead and hit pause. Let's take a look around the machine, guys. And by the way, this is 79 bucks on Amazon right now. Link will be in the description. This will be comparable to like an Instant Pot. And not like a Ninja Foodie because this doesn't air fry. This is just a straight up pressure cooker, guys. Nothing to really see on the sides, guys, but this is the back. I like that this is already on there. You don't have to put it on there. You know how many times I forget to put that on there when I get a new pressure cooker? <laughs> okay, so that's where you seal and release the valve. So we'll switch here. All right, guys, let's take a look at the front. So under the Kasori, you see preheat, cooking, and keep warm. That's your status bar. So those will light up as it gets to those different statuses. The plus and minus right there, obviously, is to change the uh, time that you're cooking. And so these are your functions right here. So you got pressure cook, rice, steam, sterilize, oatmeal porridge, stew broth, bean, grain, meat, poultry. Slow cook, saute, ferment, and sous vide. That's not bad for 80 bucks, guys. You're not going to beat that for 80 bucks, all that right there. And then I like right here, you got the low and high pressure. You got a button that you can just, well, most of the time you're going to do high, but there's certain times that you need to do low, and it's right there. And with a lot of other pressure cookers, it's hard to find that. And it's right there in front of your face. So this, oh, to the right of that, obviously, probably is for slow cook. You got low, high, and custom temperature. C-U-S, custom. That's nice. You got keep warm, delay start, cancel, and start. three prong cord, guys. And the length is about average. It's not long. It's not short, though. All right. Let's pop the top. See what we got. Now, first, when you, whenever, whatever pressure cooker you have, you always want to remove the inner pot because there's usually like some type of sticker here that you sh definitely want to remove because if you don't, I don't want to go over what could happen. All right, let's take a look at the pot, guys. And by the way, this is a ceramic pot, guys, with a stainless steel trim. That's sexy. I like that. I like ceramic pots, guys. Um, I prefer it over stainless steel, although stainless steel can take a licking for, for decades. But I just love cooking in ceramic. So for me, that I like that. Like most pressure cookers, guys, it comes with a trivet. Just like any other, well, most pressure cookers, right? Oh, and by the way, it's dishwasher safe, of course. Shout out to my moms and my viewers and subscribers that put their gadgets in their stove for storage. I just took it a step further and just really got rid of my stove. <laughs> just for fun, guys, I will do a side-by-side -side with my Instant Pot. About the same size. Instant Pot's a tad bit taller. That's it. Nothing. Nothing really. And these are both six quarts. All right, you're going to get your quick guide, and that's perfect for a guy like me that doesn't want to read the manual. You can just open this up and get going. Of course, you're going to get your manual, right? It's going to have charts in there, do's and don'ts, blah, blah, blah. But you're also going to get a recipe book, which I love. You don't really need a recipe book for a pressure cooker, but well, I guess for certain things like fermenting and other things that were sous vide and certain things that we're not used to doing per se, like the average person. Yeah, but for a regular pressure cooker, I mean, there's there's got to be literally a million recipes online between YouTube, Pinterest and Google, I guess. <laughs> but I do respect them having a physical recipe book. 
Okay, Kasori, I see you. Beef stew. We got a yogurt recipe. And by the way, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's free, I promise. My unboxing is done. It's time to make something. It's Friday of Memorial Day weekend, guys. So happy Memorial Day to all my viewers and subscribers. Be safe out there. One of my favorite things to make in a pressure cooker, the favorite, is baby back ribs. So we're going to make some baby back ribs. My second favorite is chicken and broccoli alfredo. That used to be my first, but I think baby back ribs is definitely my favorite. Because it's so easy. Now, big ups to my meat market. Um, they took the membrane off the back. Cut them into fours for me, but you know, you could do that obviously by yourself, but my meat market is about 80 cartwheels down the road. Why not? And they had a special today that I wasn't going to do baby back ribs, but I thought it was like it's Memorial Day weekend. Everybody's going to be making ribs. Well, a lot of people, should I say. But originally I was going to do steak bites and mashed potatoes because you could do, and that would be uh, shaved um, eye of round or whatever into cubes. And you put like the potatoes on the bottom and you cook them both for 20 minutes and they'll be done. You sear the, uh, the bites first and then cook them for 20 minutes and they'll be both done together. That's originally what I was going to do. So you can try that recipe out for yourself. But because of the holiday and the sale, $15 for a rack, yeah, we're doing some ribs. And by the way, guys, this recipe will work for any pressure cooker that plugs into the wall. So Instant Pot, Ninja Foodie. Gourmet, whatever pressure cooker you have, um, this recipe will work. Now, if your your machine that you're wanting to cook uh, ribs in does not pressure cook, um, this is not the video to follow. You would just type in your machine and ribs and look on YouTube what they have for that specific machine. But we're pressure cooking today, so let's. In, and my way is easy to season this guy. Super simple. I got my Evo oil sprayer. I'm gonna spray both sides and the reason why I'm spraying it so that the seasoning could stick better and I'm not marinating them because I'm just doing it on the fly right now but obviously marinating them overnight would be best so I got my go-to seasoning and I'm almost done look at that I gotta get some more pink salt black pepper and garlic my subscribers love this and I, I definitely recommend you try it it is awesome all right Another favorite of mine, Applewood Rub. Let me put that on there. Great flavor. And don't be shy, guys. Because you may think it's a lot. And it's just enough when you put a lot of seasoning on there. Trust me. <laughs> Go ahead and pat it down. And we're going to turn it over and do the same thing. All right, that's the other side. Pack that down. And we want to get the extras on the side. All that good stuff. And you know we're about to put some Sweet Baby Rays on that when it's done. I don't know where I'm going to finish it off at because, like I said, this machine doesn't have an air fryer, so... I may use, who knows, but we'll get to that later. Let's go ahead and plug it in for the first time. Okay. Oh, it makes a chime when you um, put on the uh, top and take it off. Cup of water. I was going to add some liquid smoke, but my... But since I'm not, I think my subscribers and longtime viewers know what I'm, where I'm going to finish this off at. But we'll get to that later. And you know, guys, in my experience of doing ribs in pressure cooker, liquid smoke is cool, but it adds minimal. I'd rather add it to the ribs itself because when you add it to the water, yes, the air smells. You could smell it in the air, but as far as in your food, very little. All right, let's get them in there. All 
And this was a small rack because usually when I do do it in fours like this, it's usually four. So this was a smaller rack, which is fine. Because, like I said, it's Memorial Day weekend. I'm going to be eating ribs all weekend, probably. Because everybody's going to be making them, and I'm going to be eating them. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? So you cut them in four, so you, you're, you're only going to be able to get about four to five, maybe, of uh, cut in four ribs, baby back ribs in there. I would say, so four and four is great. But you could get five in there. The great thing about pressure cooking, guys, it could be all smooshed together. It's unlike air frying where you have to get spacing. It could have been, it could be touching each other and all crambled up. The uh, pressure cooker will still cook everything evenly. So that's the, the great thing about pressure cooking. You could just stuff it and not worry about any type of spacing. It's going to cook perfect. And to my new viewers and to my longtime subscribers that are still scared of pressure cookers, I'm going to show you one more time that no one is going to blow up on this video. You're not going to blow up for watching and I'm not going to blow up for using it. There are safety measures with all of these machines, whether it be Instant Pot, Ninja Foodie, Gomea, any one of them that plug into the wall. If you do not seal the cover correctly, it will not come to pressure. And it will just come to a higher boil, like how you have uh, something on your stovetop on high. And, it, you know, the water or liquid starts boiling. That's as hot as it will get. So if you don't cover it right, it won't come to pressure anyway. So that's one safety that ensures that you have to get it right in order for it to even get to pressure. But anywho, let's go ahead and get the cover on. All right, so let me rack my brain. When I do baby back ribs, yes, I do 20 and 20, guys. So 20 minutes of pressure, and then I let it keep warm for 20 minutes, which is, I guess, I call a natural release of 20 minutes as well. And that's perfect. Then it'll be ready to be air fried or put on your charcoal grill just to, you know, you put your um, barbecue sauce on there, and then you either put it in your... Gas grill, charcoal grill, air fryer, you get the point. But anyway, we're going to hit pressure cook. Ooh, 35. Well, we're going to reduce it to 20. I like the way these, it, the, the feedback on this is, it feels great. Um, It's on high. I want that. Okay. I don't want anything else. It's already going to go to keep warm. That's there. All right, so let's hit start. One thing I have to watch too is where the position of the switch for the valve is and it's on seal. You can, I don't know if you can see it, but it says seal there and when I, when I release the pressure, I push it to vent right there. So it's on seal, so we're good to go. And as you see there on the status bar, preheating is lit up. So self-explanatory right there. We'll be back when it gets to cooking, when it comes to pressure. Ain't no shame in our game, guys. We got store-bought potato salad and some country-style beans. Oh, and by the way, this is just a random uh, feature of this machine. Um, they say that the stainless steel part is fingerprint, fingerprint resistant, which is true. I don't see my fingerprint. I wish everybody could do that because, ugh. Alright, we're moving along. You can hear the pressure starting to build. And to my peoples that are new to pressure cooking, you'll know you'll be at pressure when you see that silver pin right there, that circle. It'll pop up. That's how you know you're at pressure. And you know all the pressure will be released is when that pin goes back down to where it is now after it got to pressure. There it is. All right. So we fully are at pressure now, and you can see the countdown of 20 minutes have started. So I'll be back in 20 minutes. I, will, I won't be releasing the pressure because, like I said, we're going to let it uh, stay on keep warm for another 20 minutes. I just came from the store down the block to get the beverage of my choice, and woo. It's smelling good in here. 
Now I could use various devices to finish this off. I could finish it off in my June oven, my uh, Ninja indoor grill, my Kasori dual blaze air fryer, or my Ninja Foodie one lid. Either one of them would be perfect. And out back, we got a charcoal grill, the Ninja wood fire grill, and a gas grill. We're gonna use the Ninja wood fire grill slash smoker slash air fryer. We got hickory smoke in there guys. We're preheating right now. All right. That's what it sounds like when the time is up guys. And you can see keep warm is now flashing. So like we said, we're gonna keep it there. And now the timer is gonna count up. And when it gets to 20 minutes, I'll release any additional pressure that's left. Shouldn't be really any, but we'll just do a release anyway. Okay guys, 20 minutes is up. I'm gonna go ahead and release the pressure. And as you can see, as you can hear, it wasn't much left anyway. See? That's what we're working with guys. Let's take these out and put some baby rays on these bad boys. I'm also gonna pressure cook these beans for zero minutes. Cause you know, they're pretty much pre-cooked. You just need to warm them up. Oh, what I like though guys, is when I put it back on, it moved to seal automatically. So you don't have to remember to put it back to seal when you put it to vent to release the pressure. When you put the cover back on, it automatically goes to seal. That's fantastic. Well, this machine, you can't do zero minutes, so I just did one minute, that's fine. This is smelling so good, guys. So you can, like I said, you can finish this off in your indoor air fryers, but we're taking it outdoors, like we said, but it's gonna be 10 minutes either way. 10 minutes full blast, five minutes on each side. Woo, I can smell that smoke, guys. That's a good thing. Let's get it in there. Let's close her up. Smelling good out here, guys. We got about two minutes left. This could be you. Let's see what we're working with, guys. You see it. This could be you. Let's get it guys, paper towel time. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. It's right on time guys, it's quarter to seven. I am ready to eat. Yeah, we'll play with that later. I'm ready to get these bites in. You first. You got it? Hmm. That is good right there. Hmm. This could be you. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That is good right there, guys. Let's get some beans, some onions. You got it? Mm. Let's get some potato salad, store-bought potato salad. Ain't no shame in the game, guys. Any means necessary. That's good, man. And by the way, I did taste a hint of that hickory pellet smoke for sure. Mm. That was some easy good eating right there guys. Let's get back to the unboxing guys and wrap this up. Now, one problem that I did see, I don't see an off button 
And this has been sitting here just like like this for the last, I don't know, six or seven minutes. So didn't turn off on its own in seven minutes. And I don't see a power off button. But, I mean, other than that, this machine's fantastic. And like I said, this this machine is on sale right now for 80 bucks, which is a great price. Now, I'm going to look over the uh, manual and see if there's a way to power it off other than unplugging it. And if I do see it, I'll put it in the uh, description. But, I mean, you know, with other pressure cookers, you just have a power button and you just press it. There's no secret. Like how it, if there is, it appears to be on this one. <laughs> but maybe you don't. Maybe you unplug it or maybe you just leave it in this. And maybe after... 10, 15 minutes being on standby, it'll turn off on its own. That's probably what will happen. That's fine. But I would have liked to see a power button just like every other pressure cooker I've owned. But other than that, this machine's fantastic. Fantastic. Like I said, it's dishwasher safe. Throw it in your dishwasher, hand wash it, however you want to do it. Comes with the little um, trivet rack thingy. Um, and it's got all these functions here. Click the link, check it out for yourself. And I'm saying for 80 bucks, if you compare this to the Instant Pot, that's worth 80 bucks. This has more functions than that one. Now, I'm not saying this is better than the top of the line Instant Pot, but this is better than the one that they have for 80 bucks is what I'm saying. So just check it out. That's all I got, guys. I'm just going to relax, enjoy this uh, holiday weekend. I hope you enjoy yours. I, you may see another video coming soon. Or maybe not. Or after the holidays. I don't know. But you guys be safe out there. Enjoy it. And that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. And I'm out.